What if the Megalodon was hiding in the Mariana Trench? This is the exact same... Con oh, my oh, it's new? This is from December 12th. This video is only like a week old. Since it's new, there must be new evidence, right? There must be new things to look at. You are in the deepest part of our oceans, the Mariana Trench. Suddenly, your sub experiences... I mean, these Earth? videos are new. I've never seen these CGI videos before. They're terrible, but they're new, at least. I guess that counts. There's no mistaking the 15 centimeter teeth of the largest apex predator, the Megalodon. Remember when that one video claimed that this was evidence that the Megalodon still existed? The very first video I ever recorded had this thing as actual fucking evidence. <laughs> Good old times. Getting bitten by this beast would feel like being crushed by three African elephants stacked on top of each other. I imagine getting bitten by a Megalodon wouldn't feel like much. You'd probably just instantly die. <laughs> At that point, I don't really think it matters how many African elephants worth of weight you're feeling. What could this apex predator be hunting in the deep? Nothing. Nothing. There's literally nothing snail fish and like if you want to go to the extremes there's like giant squid and colossal squid but there's not enough of them to sustain a fucking shark population with long gestation periods that need to eat a lot how could it withstand the immense pressure it couldn't you know this guy's bringing up some great questions it couldn't it wouldn't nothing how would the mariana trench make this apex predator more docile what? That was a weird random final question. It feels like people who think this think that the Megalodon was just for some reason forced into shame into the Mariana Trench and therefore it must have adapted. If it had the opportunity, it would still be thriving at the surface. Like what would what would cause them to need to be in the Mariana Trench and not be able to leave? That's the logical fallacy that does not make sense here. Every one of these videos assumes it's like, well, it can't come to the, it can't live in the normal way that we expect a megalodon to live. So it must be thriving somewhere else. We know more about the surface of Mars right. than we do about our ocean. False. We've seen more of the surface of Mars than the floor of our ocean because it's really easy to look through a telescope, but we don't know more. The only thing that's been to Mars is rovers. We have been to the bottom of the ocean in many places, many times. And with only 15% of our oceans explored, who's to say no ancient- <laughs> High estimate. Usually they go with 10 or 5%. 15% is still horribly wrong, but it's better. We're getting into the higher percentages. Predators steeped in total darkness. He said nothing the about the Megalodon so far. Around we are almost halfway through the video and he has yet to even like conceptualize anything related to the Megalodon. Like the whole point of the video is what if it was living there? Where's the what if? But this diet plan wouldn't work for this ancient warm water dwelling apex predator. He's so close to being self-aware. This diet plan that we know that the Megalodon would have had would not work. And so then the logical person goes, okay, this diet plan does not work for this fish in the modern day. Therefore, this fish cannot exist in the modern day. But the dumbass route is, okay, this fish could not survive that way in the modern day. They must have fucking dove into the Mariana Trench and are eating something complete. And they're vegetarians now. So, if our megalodon was close to its prehistoric size, it would probably be a few thousand years old. It, so they have to be a few thousand years old and storing their food like gulper sharks? What? And it could have the Portuguese dogfish and the Greenland shark on the menu. The megalodon there are not enough Portuguese dogfish and Greenland sharks. It, fucking Greenland sharks live forever and take so long to get big and to get sexually mature. They are not reproducing at a rate in which they could be a regular meal of a massive predator. They're struggling specifically because they take so long to mature and they get caught by humans and then their life cycle is over. If the same thing applied to the fucking Megalodon, it'd just be over. So, what's stopping it from chomping into your puny 10,700 kilogram submarine? Well, extinction mostly is what's stopping it. Um, 
someone in chat said he is literally disproving his argument in order to prove his argument and i think that's really funny he's giving evidence against his own argument in a way that's like well this must mean that the only possible way because my argument is wrong the only possible way is this their job is to stop the other molecules from being crushed by the last half of the video is called what are pyzolites <laughs> Not at not one point has he said what would actually happen if the Megalodon was hiding there. He's just talking about the Mariana Trench. This is just a normal scientific video disguised as a shitty Megalodon video. By the pressure. If you start from an absurdity, any conclusion is possible. The Mariana Trench Megalodon would most definitely need to stock up on some of those. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just stock up on fucking pyzolites. Yeah, just stop by your local grocery store and stock up on pressure reducing cells in your body. That's a thing you can do, right? You just go shopping at the local fish grocery store and exchange your Atlantis currency for fucking anti-pressure cells. Yeah, you just take some, some multivitamins in the morning. It's not like this is an evolutionary thing that only exists in certain fish that are adapted for deep climates and you can't just suddenly come upon. To maintain its body temperature, our megalodon would have to be warm-blooded and to navigate in total darkness... That doesn't even make sense. It would have to either become... What the fuck was behind it? To navigate... What the, what the fuck? Is this a coelacanth? In total darkness? Why is it swimming so fast? Its skin could evolve to enable more tactile ways of feeling its way around. An expandable stomach could help it store That's food. That's not an ex okay. And it's inward not what that is. facing teeth could prevent slimy prey from escaping. Those aren't, those but are cleaner rats. They're cleaning the fish. They're not escaping. They're not slimy and they're not escaping. I can't believe he used the fucking puffer carrot fish. You can plan your trip to the Mariana Trench knowing you wouldn't be eaten by a gigantic shark. Did this guy just fucking fall down into the Mariana Trench? What is this? What a dog shit video. <laughs> what if the Megalon was hiding in the Mariana Trench? Did he say anything? He basically just said, it's impossible. Therefore, the only way that it is possible is if it is not, it is just compl com completely changed into like a variety of different features that make absolutely no sense. Watch as I disprove my argument and give random factual information for five minutes straight. It is impossible. Therefore, it is possible. There's an entire fucking section on pyzolites. What are the sections? The apex predator. We know more about Mars and our oceans. How did it get its food? And pyzolites. What a crazy six minute video you've created here.